American Erin Jackson in World Championships, but she will go off first here, followed by Solimar Vivas, Victoria Rodriguez of Argentina, and Rocio Bebel out follow her. And Yisul of Korea, Julia Bongiorno. Then it's uh, the Guatemalan Dalia Sobranis. A lift to these athletes. Erin Jackson will hope to be there, of course. That's four years from now. Right now, she wants to put down a fast time. Here we go, then, the first finalist in the women's 200-meter trial on the road. Jackson, who registered 19.748 in qualifying and only just qualifying. Well, she's faster. 4-3 in qualifying. Only one skater in qualifying went under 19 seconds. Vivas with that very long start stride. Then just tucking in around that bend. Just looking to take a really tight line through the chicane, which she does. And the clock just kept going on her, didn't it? 19.497. Like all these athletes, real power in the lower body. But it's not just all about the legs. They are, of course, absolutely vital. But the upper body has got to do some work as well. Open those shoulders up, get the arms going. Help build a bit of speed up. Rodriguez looking to try and hit this. Which she does right there. She moves ahead of Solimar, but Jackson's time is looking good so far. Bearbell out. Looking to try and erase that from the top of the uh, leaderboard. Here she goes. Well, she saw Victoria Rodriguez get a 19.422. No split times to guide us here. But uh, a little bit of time lost there going through the chicane, and it really showed in her Oops. from the Korean. And she knew she'd done it straight into the foul zone. And away she goes. If she gets it all right, puts everything together, and could be a contender. Skating fifth out of the 12 qualifiers here. And attacking out of the chicane. Going to try and beat 19.225. And she's done it. Well, she puts herself top of the table at the moment. Well, bronze medalist on the track in 500. She medaled in the 100 earlier this summer in Portugal in the European Championships. Bongiorno, the only Italian qualifier. Looking to just blast through the chicane. Nice line. Tiny, tiny bit of a stumble, but Bongiorno looking to try and crack 19, which she fails to do. So, Julia Bongiorno. 19.567 in qualifying. Now, can she trim four tenths of a second off? what she achieved in qualifying. Sobranis Marenko. Good upper body work and straightening up and lost a little bit of ground there in the chicane. Now she's got to try and claw that back here in the straight. Uh, uh, that's where the damage was. Starting with Ingrid Factos. A lot of power packed into the lower body. That low center of gravity, she dips low, keeps the wind resistance down. Really attacking here, Factos. She was a little bit disappointed by her own high standards with her performance on the track. Now, what can she come up with here on the road? Not particularly good coming out of the chicane. And she too loses ground at exactly the same place in the 300 meters. Fourth fastest in qualifying here, 19.436. 19.091 is her target. Away goes Pajaro, the Colombian. Winning World Junior Championship gold 
less than a year ago. She has graduated to senior skating in some style, and she's really blasting down this straight. Big stretch there. It's not enough to get past Anya Siul. It will get it's her in. There's another medal hers for the taking here. Certainly when she was talking about her World Games Athlete of the Day award, she said, I want more medals. I'm hungry for more. Well, can she get more here? A time of 19.343 in qualifying. And the Belgian starting to build up ahead of steam. This is where she's got to get it right, through the chicane. Takes a nice tight line there. Comes out of it pretty well. Now she's got to just turn on the afterburners here, Tass. What's she got? Oh, dear. That's a shock. That's a stunning Chen Ying Chu. Can she replicate what she managed? In qualifying, a 19.241. If she shaves anything off that, she will be on the podium. So Chen, that long stride, getting some early momentum. Good speed coming out of that first bend. Now, she too has got to make sure that she gets the chicane absolutely right. Mustn't overcommit. You can lose so much time there, as we've seen already. Chen blasting for the line, taking first place. Well, she proved that. So, the potential gold medalist gets underway here. Maria Moya, the Chilean, tucking in. Good speed coming off that first bend. Now opening up the shoulders, driving through the chicane. She's got to now attack down the straight here. Here comes the winning line, and it's a winning race as well for Maria Moya. She looked around... Well, there were a couple of surprises here. Moya, Chen and Anne confirmed as the medalists. Paharo, fourth, Bebel out. And Jackson's times from early stood up really well. Bongiorno settled for eighth. But the surprise was seeing Ingrid Factos and particularly Sandrine Tass just fade away through the chicane. And into the course thrive in competition with each other. Let's just have another look at the... Bronze medal skate here of An Yi Siul. Well, the ups and downs of her World Games continue with another big upswing. It all started so well for her with a silver medal on the track in the time trial. And it was disqualification in the 500 meters. Now back in time trial action, An Yi Siul showing what she's capable of. She was way down in qualifying. Eighth, but that was good enough to put her third. Now Chen finished second in qualifying, and she confirmed that there was no fluke with another terrific skate. This put her top of the leaderboard with only Moya to come, and Mar Maria Moya knew that the gauntlet had been thrown down. Another sub-19 second effort from Chen. She would need something similar here. 18.869 in qualifying. 18.840 to win gold. Really consistent. A glance around and delight.